Triumph have launched 12 new colorways across a bunch of their biggest bikes. And they've really gone down the super pop-in bold route, almost to the point where it can compete with that Kawasaki. The idea is that they are trying to meet the growing demand from customers for striking contemporary color schemes. And so perhaps this is a further move away from the fairly muted, let's say, paint jobs that we've seen for the past sure. five or ten years, which people moan about. They say it's because no one buys the more popping ones. Mm. But maybe that's changing at the moment as tastes change and the sort of 90s, 80s, 90s mm -hmm. kind of colorful paint schemes seem to be becoming a little bit more fashionable mm. so what i thought we'd do is rattle through the 12 of them and have a look at each picture and then we'll maybe rate them i think okay. we'll go a b or c what do you reckon yeah fine go a b c the first one well the first three are from their sort of adventure lineup they're all tigers and so number one is the Tiger 660 Sport, which is, you know, very much a road going bike, mm. but still part of the Tiger family. This one comes in Baja Orange and Phantom Black. Now, Baja Orange goes way back for Triumph, doesn't it? In fact, yes. Sorry, I always forget, but I, <laughs> that's your street triple was this color. Pretty much, yeah. I think, is that a gloss or a um, metallic finish? Because mine was obviously a uh, matte finish. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the colour of my, my Triumph. When we're talking retro, I mean, I'm, it m makes me feel kind of old, to be honest. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, and I think there was a podcast episode in the early days of the podcast where I said that orange was the terrible colour. <laughs> and then you told me about your street trip. You laboured the point. But you really no. laid it on there. Yeah. <laughs> Did I? Yeah, yeah, maybe feel awful. Sorry. Sorry about that, mate. <laughs> but actually, you know, egg on my face, well, a nice orangey egg yolk on my face, because uh, I think actually some of these orange triumphs, Baja Orange is something that they've had for a while mm. and been using it again more recently on some of the bikes, like the Gold Lines and mm. the, I think the Speed Twin 1200 had a, an option for this as well. And so I think, you know... I have to concede, finally, that it does look pretty good on some of these bikes. Yeah. I think it was an anti-KTM rant, which, to be fair, you know, they could do with branching out a bit, whereas Triumph have got this sure. as part of a full spectrum of bright colours. Anyway, looking at this one, mate, what do you reckon? Uh, I like it. I mean, you know I like it because I owned one. It wasn't necessarily my choice, but it sort of grew to love it. Um, but yes, I do like that one. If I was scoring it out of ABC... Um, I'm going to say A, actually. I love that kind of really bold statement from Triumph. And it is tapping into their kind of uh, heritage a little bit as well. I think I'd agree. It gets a, an A, and that is me fully eating my anti-orange <laughs> words. Because previously this bike came in, I think, white, mm. blue, or red. And I think this looks better than any of those. And they were totally fine, but that does have a nice pop to it and suits the style of the bike. Number two is the Tiger 850 Sport. And I think this is another really famous Triumph colour from the sort of 90s. So I think you could get a speed triple in this, yeah. a street triple, mm -hmm. and also one of the original, maybe the original Tiger 900. Uh, you could get this roulette green as well so this one is roulette green and jet black mm. i don't know mate what do you reckon of this i one? mean i'm sticking that as like an a plus i actually prefer that to the orange but that's because it's been kind of out of commission for a long while and the other thing which is really specific to me but um actually when we were growing up my brother and i had a pair of bmx's that were exactly that orange and that green and we also because we were really cool, swapped the forks so that I had his orange forks on my green bike and vice versa. Uh, so yeah, it has a, a soft spot in my heart. So what you're saying is you and your brother need to buy the Baja Orange Tiger 660. Exactly. The Tiger that. 850 Sport. And then just swap <laughs> and some My dad the, needs to swap the, the forks work. over. Yeah, exactly. That. Yeah. <laughs> That's the sort of thing you do for your kids though. Yeah. <laughs> when they're like, dad, can you swap the forks <laughs> over? Why? <laughs> um i think i'll probably go high for that maybe not quite a plus mm. i don't know it's probably not one that i'd actually buy but just for bringing that color back and hopefully it will come back into their roster as well uh yeah i'll probably go a number three tiger 850 sport also available in Corosi red with graphite mate this is a bit of a b for me this is a really common finish for the tiger 900s i think yeah. there's been a variant of this on the tiger 850 sport 
It's totally fine. It's probably going to sell well because it's kind of an inoffensive red. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't say it's got a particular wow factor. No, that's kind of... Is that not the colour that we actually borrowed one or very, very similar? But yeah, it's... Uh, meh, it's... <laughs> not meh. It's one of those ones that probably would sell better, to be honest, because people don't want to take that kind of risk as much as they might say they do. Um, but yeah, it's not particularly exciting, so B. The previous gen of this bike or the previous finish was just the other way around. I think it was a silver right. tank with red side panels or something like that. So, yeah, you, you may feel like you've already seen it, but it's just a, a variation of. New, though, on the Scrambler 900, we've got Kingfisher Blue with a couple of black stripes on it. And I think that looks quite nice. Yeah, I really do like that one, actually. that um, It's it's eye-catching, but it's subtle enough that you can kind of make that work with stuff. It doesn't kind of clash with things. Sounds really kind of prissy, <laughs> like that I'm worried that it's going to clash with my jacket or something. But honestly, no, that is a nice colour. That, for me, is definitely an A, because it's a little bit more tasteful, arguably, than kind of a fluorescent orange or green, as much as I like them. Um, so probably mm. would sell better. I can see a lot of people going for that option. Yeah, I like that one as well, definitely. Suits the retro style, but, mm, you know, not too much. Not too crazy, but still has a pop of colour. Mm. Ticks a lot of boxes for me. We're into the Bonnies, actually, I should have said. Speedmaster, Snowdonia White and Cranberry Red. Mm, I like the way the stripe on the tank follows the line of the bike. Mm. Pretty nicely done. But as a colour combo, it is bright, but I wouldn't necessarily say that it's something particularly wildly different to what's been available so far. No, it's not risky. It's not risky. I wouldn't penalise them necessarily for that, but as far as the one you kind of go back to or that go, wow, um, it doesn't necessarily have the wow factor, although it's a very classy colour. So again, it probably sells well, and it probably is the one that would get more money spent on it. But yeah, so it's so it's got to be a b for me yeah t100 aluminium silver and baja orange quite nice yeah very similar though like similar in terms of its tastefulness and sort of split color split mm. tank i don't know whether i'd buy that for myself but again i'm going to say b because all of these sort of this bracket if you like are tasteful classy but not necessarily risky same for the t120 crystal white and cranberry red yeah again gotta go b there mate uh, and then the Bobber, Matt Graphite and Matt, ba Matt Baha Orange. That's the one you were talking about oh, yeah, for your really? street triple. <laughs> there it is. And I think that, that might be an A for me. Oh, that's, that one that's great. fully an A for me, yeah. I love Because the, the fact that you've gone for sort of blacked out everything else. So the engine's black, the wheels are black, and then you've got just a splash of colour. It's quite similar to the um, Scrambler 1200 that they did with that orange mm. as well. But the matte i'd like to see that in the flesh because i wonder what the sort of contrast between metallic and matte how that kind of works but it looks nice also they've got the speed twin 900 apparently in matte phantom black and matte crystal white but i don't see a picture in the press kit and so we can't really rank that one but black and white i'm not going to say that it's going to come out particularly different to that b that we've given some of the other modern classics no uh, but on to the Roadster lineup, and the Street Triple 765R is now available in matte Baja orange. That's basically the modern, modern equivalent of what you had. Basically, yeah, especially considering it's matte as well. I think it's, I mean, it, mm. it's, it's very good. It is a, a bold, but then it's a bold bike, isn't it? If you go for that kind of street fighter bike, you kind of want it to mm. be a bit loud and shouty, and that is about as loud and shouty as you could possibly get. I also think the R model for this year, just gone, uh, got some of the slightly more chilled finishes, whereas the RS was a bit more colourful, perhaps. Mm. And so it's actually nice that that base model has got something that looks a bit more sporty yeah. as an option. So I definitely like that one a lot. I might go A there. There's not been any definitely C's a. yet. No. Nothing bad. Imagine there was. Just, you're like, that's cack. That, <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> no. So far? Yeah, the RS is now available in Phantom Black. Yeah. And I think it's got a pop of that, what they call Triumph Racing Yellow now. So the graphics and logos are in um, Triumph Racing Yellow. Mm. I'm going to go... I mean, it's not, it doesn't really fit in with the press release of being bold new colour schemes, does it? It's the graphic, isn't it? So it's not really the colour. But then could you describe the kind of the, some of the Bonnevilles as bold new colour as well? They're kind of... It's subtle, isn't it? So. Yeah. It still looks cool. Not as cool as when they did one with bronze wheels. Like, Ooh. 
two years back. That was really good. Now, if they went with like, if they matched the wheels to that RS logo, that could be quite yeah. exciting actually. But I'm still going to put that at like a B, definitely B. And then number twelve, Speed Triple twelve hundred RS in cosmic yellow, which is what the Street Triple RS was available in last year. There's a certain kind of yellow that's more kind of orangey yellow, like a warmer yellow. Yeah. And that's where that sits, and it's got kind of waspy B vibes to it. And uh, considering that it's got also a waspy face, you can't argue that that colour suits that style of bike. And it is bold, but not so bold that it's not going to sell. I think that's a pretty good option. That's close to my favourite. It's probably an A for me. Great. I don't know. I think I, pro- I, I maybe prefer the slightly more neon looking yellows on sporty bikes like this so this is probably one of the few where we slightly disagree and i'd go for a b weirdly oh, not, that's actually that's the same kind of yellow actually yeah <laughs> go for a bumblebee yeah um i was trying to find, i was trying to manufacture a joe crew card and that that's the same yellow actually that my dad has a street triple in the same yellow uh and i have to say i was fairly uncut so again i'm gonna eat humble pie same as you with the orange i'm gonna sort of eat my words and say actually i really like it on that bike even though on his i kind of took the piss out of him for it but yeah <laughs> well it's all a, a question of context isn't it yeah. this sort of thing 